I think um, the, the hat from Wolf Creek, which has got the snake skin on it, and that snake skin was on the hat I had in Wear the Never Never. So I took it off and put on that hat. So it's, um, it's and I wore the Wear the Never Never hat in a Brian Brown film, Dead Heart. So that snake skin's been on a couple of hats, and it's on my Wolf Creek hat. So you should have that. I keep my costumes, if they're a nice pair of jeans or something I can wear out, um, yeah, something I can wear in the real world, but apart from that I'm not interested. I'm not a souvenir person, I'm not a keepsake person, uh, I'm not, uh, you know, I don't say any prayers when I leave the house, I just walk down the road and move on, so I'm not, I'm not a nostalgic kind of guy. There is a huge downside that uh, I found myself virtually unemployed for for a few years because people couldn't see past the Mick Taylor character. And they say, oh, what about John Jarrett? And oh, no, I think it's Mick Taylor the minute he walks on. So it's called a Norman Gunson syndrome that Gary went through. I did the part so well that it actually cost me employment. People come up to me um, about if I go out in public, about if I'm out for three hours, I'll probably get stopped six times. Yeah, sometimes more. People just, ah, oh, love Wolf Creek, oh, you scared the shit out of me. And then the dreadful bloody mobile phone with a camera in it, which is the bane of well known people. Of course, we've got to stop and have our photo taken. Well, I think it's insanely important to to archive this stuff, you know, to have our uh, to have our um, profession looked after. Um, that's kind of important um, because the first film ever made was about Ned Kelly, and I think they got about they got a half a reel of that, and it's really shocking. And, but to have that in pristine condition in a hundred years' time, uh, you know, some of these iconic moments in Australian film and, and television history um, is insanely important and, and people who are studying it or looking at it and looking back at it to find out where we came from and how we got there. Um, it's great to be able to go and see it in pristine condition. Uh, well, my little company Ozpix is making a film called Stalker and we start in uh, December 2013 and pre-production and shooting in January and it's kind of a cross between Misery and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and it's myself and Karen Fairfax in a room. Um, uh, I come through the, into her house looking like a stalker uh, with, with the balaclava and everything and uh, next minute I'm being tasered in the kitchen and I come to tied to a chair and the movie goes from there and um, it's a, a night in this kitchen with myself and Karen and, uh, and the byline is he chased her until she caught him and so it's a great little uh, I don't know what you call it romantic comedy thriller Wolf Creek 2 comes out in February 2014 and then we hope to bring Stalker out in August off the back of that. We got a cinema release for that. And, um, you yeah, know, so hopefully it'll all float ahead pretty well.